help me take this mask off. But you'll die. Hello, my name is Philip Travis. While I cannot make anyone wear a mask or mandate a mask for the class, uh, when we do start uh, meeting face-to-face, -face, presumably in one week, um, I do strongly encourage that when we're not able to be social distanced, um, that we do have our mask on. So um, depending on the size of our room, depending on, on how tight we are in there, I do encourage us to, to wear masks. Um, I help take care of my mom. She's 78 years old, so um, I definitely want to be safe um, when we are in close quarters. <clears throat> my name, anyway, is Philip Travis, and welcome to History 3308, War and Society, the United States in the 20th Century here at the University of South Florida. First of all, a little bit about myself, and we'll talk just a bit about what to expect in the class. I think you'll have a lot of fun in this class. Um, it's a very interesting class, um, and um, the, the subject, I think, is, is a very, very important one for us to be thinking about, um, and that is, of course, the United States, uh, the United States' interventionist policies during the 20th century uh, and beyond, and how these uh, policies, how involvement in conflict has shaped American society and culture. I did my PhD at Washington State University, and my specialty is, you know, what scholars call the United States and the world. Um, it's really the study of U.S. conflict and international relations in the world, and so this this class is very much um, what I, in my graduate work at least, was trained to teach. My specialty is more on the Cold War, and particularly uh, the late Cold War. Um, I've published a number of articles and chapters and also a book that relate to um, the United States' policies, particularly in Central America and particularly with Nicaragua and El Salvador during the 1970s and 1980s. Uh, my book, my first book that was based on my dissertation was titled Reagan's War on Terrorism in Nicaragua, the Outlaw State. In this class, in this class, we are going to cover basically the United States, its emergence and development as a major overseas power. We're going to start the class talking a little bit about, and this will be our, our first reading assignment, and we'll have a graded discussion on this reading assignment as soon as we um, are back in our face-to-face -face, um, classroom environment. And I'm sorry that um, I cannot be, um, be there right now. It's um, unfortunately something that is beyond my control. But we're going to start out, we're going to talk a little bit about American ideology. We're going to have a discussion about American ideology, and, and, and there's a reading based on this. And uh, this discussion should then inform much of our engagement um, with these other subjects throughout the class. So we'll look at American ideology. We'll look at important principles associated with, with um, um, civil rights, civics, um, human rights, um, the nature of governance in the United States, cultural change, and social change um, in the United States, political activism. There's numerous, numerous um, areas that we can channel uh, our conversations in. So we'll start this class talking a little bit about um, what America is historically all about, American ideology, core values, and these types of things. And then we will discuss several major conflicts. We'll start discussing the Spanish and also the Philip Philippine American War wars, which of course ran from 1898 to 1902, uh, conflicts that are not often thought greatly about, especially the Philippine American War, but yet what represent really a profound moment in which the United States became in became an overseas world power. We'll discuss the First World War in this class. Uh, a war that, again, the United States was only really fighting in the war for maybe a year um, because it took so long to mobilize. 
But yet, the First World War, the United States witnesses um, a great degree of, of censorship uh, during wartime, um, a, a legal challenge to people's abilities to speak out against the war. There were internment programs of individuals like German nationals. Um, so it was very much a conflict that uh, very much shaped and brought to light some major questions in American society. We'll look at the Second World War a bit. We will talk about um, issues of race, for example, in the Pacific Theater during World War II. We'll talk, obviously, about the internment of Japanese Americans. We'll talk about World War II as an event that really um, was a stepping off point for the emergence of major civil rights activist movements, the feminist movement, um, the African-American civil rights movement, um, all find their sort of roots, uh, at least the second wave in uh, the Second World War. We'll talk a little bit about the Cold War, which um, usually, Amer usually Americans, when they think about the Cold War, they think about a war in which there, there really wasn't fighting, which is not entirely accurate because during the Cold War, uh, the Cold War was associated with widespread undeclared interventions throughout the world, some of which were tremendously destructive, as during the post-war period, the post-Second World War period, uh, one witnesses um, the old world empires, the British, the French Empire, for example, these entities really collapse. And in the space, the United States and the Soviet Union increasingly competed for influence in the former colonial areas of the world, in the developing world. So we'll be examining the Cold War. We'll look at how the Cold War shapes American society in profound ways. Which, it, which, it, which, of course, um, it does. And we have some really interesting readings related to that um, coming up. And I'll talk more about readings in, in, in a moment. We're going to emphasize the Vietnam War a lot in this class. Uh, the Vietnam War as a, sort of an umbrella for the counterculture movement, for the anti-war movement. Um, a, a conflict that profoundly shaped activism in the United States. It profoundly shaped cultural change in the United States, and it brought up very, very serious questions about what the United States as a country at home and in the world is all about. We'll finish this portion of the class, of course. There's, a, there's also a, a, a local activity, which you'll see on the syllabus is the very end of the class, but our last sort of coverage of these conflicts, we'll have um, a few classes where we're going to discuss uh, the development of the global war on terrorism. And you'll be reading um, a short piece from something that I've written. It's not anything you have to buy or anything like that. It'll be in PDF in our modules area. But we'll re be reading that as well as um, um, a, a work on the, on the global war on terrorism in Iraq and Afghanistan uh, written by Brian Glenn Williams. So about readings. Um, so this class we have two sort of readers. And um, one of them is called Democracy's Prisoner. And it's about Eugene V. Debs, who was a very, very um, well-known labor activist. He was an American socialist, and he was also a presidential candidate several times over. Um, and Eugene V. Debs, as we will see in reading this during the First World War, uh, gave a speech, um, a long speech, but not really one that should be that you would see as anything overtly controversial in the sense of uh, a speech that might incite a riot or something. He gave a speech in Canton, Ohio, during the First World War, and he was imprisoned. Um, he was thrown in jail for a long, a long term. He didn't serve the whole term, but for a long term, um, over effectively what amounted to a free speech violation under laws that were, that were um, being enforced during the First World War. We will read that reader. We also have a reader called The Republic of Rock, that is, during the Vietnam War, you see my guitars behind me, I, I do like uh, guitars behind me, I do like uh, rock and roll music a lot, so I think we'll have a lot of fun, too, in parts of the class, where we'll get to listen to some music, uh, we're going to read a book that talks a lot about the counterculture, and how the counterculture was really trying to, in some cases, redefine citizenship as a result of uh, the controversy surrounding the Vietnam War. And of course, rock and roll and the counterculture too, as the book will discuss, it also, it also shaped 
um, the experience of American uh, soldiers fighting in the Vietnam War as well. So we'll be looking at the Republic of Rock and Democracy's Prisoner, these two readers. Other readings for the class are found in our modules area. They will be in PDF form. Um, this class allows us to draw on uh, a pretty wide array of scholarship, um, just a little bit from here and a little bit from there, so it's not to be a, it's not to be a matter to worry about in terms of copyright. Um, so those, those readings weekly will be found in a PDF form and modules, and you can print those off, or you can read them electronically um, however you, you see fit. But there will be other assigned readings sort of dealing with each of the, the topics um, in modules as we move through the course weekly. How are you graded? I know this announcement is now getting long. Um, we had the really fun introduction, I, <laughs> I thought. But now you're like, this guy won't stop talking. So let's, uh, let's try to get through this. Um, Basically, how you're graded in this class, you have um, a major paper assignment. Uh, the major paper is worth 35% of your grade, and we're talking about a five to six page uh, paper. And please see the details of that paper in the syllabus. And we'll be talking more about that. It's not due until, I think it's due week 13, so it's not due till sometime down the line. But we'll talk more about it in class, and you'll need to consult with me when it comes to selecting uh, the topic for that paper, which should be a specific topic relevant to the conflicts that we're covering um, in the class. And of course, one of those being the Cold War, uh, you have a lot of areas in there that you might want to consider in the spaces of some of these things, like the Cold War, um, which is uh, you know can involve a myriad of, of different types of levels of conflict um, that the United States was involved in. So there's a lot of opportunities there, I think. And that's your major sort of research paper. 15% of your grade is based on a final reflection paper and also participation. So, and you'll see this in looking at the syllabus. We have some graded class discussion assignments. Attendance in class is necessary. You must attend. Attendance and participation is part of your grade. 7.5% of your grade. And the graded discussions, we are going to engage some really important conversations We'll discuss some of the books we're reading, those two monographs we're going to read, but we'll also use some primary sources to discuss some really controversial events in war that were shaping domestic society. Events like the internment of German nationals during the First World War or the imprisonment of Eugene V. Debs. Um, developments like the Anti-Imperialist League and, um, and the issue of imperialism and torture in war during the Philippine-American Wars, the trial of Lieutenant William Calley, the use of the atomic bomb, events, things that really profoundly shaped American society. So you'll notice in the, in the schedule, in the calendar for the class, that there are um, some graded discussions. One of those graded discussions is the, the trial of Lieutenant William Calley, um, who, of course, was the officer who was found most responsible for a human rights war crime uh, known as the My Lai Massacre during Vietnam. And his trial, we witnessed this, this, this event in, in, in the war, which was released through uh, the media. And it becomes a massive like social event. People wrote songs about this trial on both sides of them, some supporting Cali, some opposing Cali. It became a massive, massive um, affair, the trial of Cali. Uh, the political pressure on Nixon became so great that Cali ultimately um, was 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 released of his of his um, of his of his sentence for the event. So we're going to look at that closely, and we're going to look at this event. and What does this event say about America? What does it say about the United States and its actions in the world? How did Americans react to it? Why did they react that way? So we're going to have some greater discussions in in the class. And I think you'll find this um, a pretty fascinating exercise in class. Uh, the other portion of your grade um, is uh, really really two take-home exams. They're essays, but um, these essays, they, um, they're basically going to be based, if I can find them here, so I can tell you the weeks that they are due. Uh, you have an essay that is due on week 11, and the first essay is due on, here we go, 
Yeah. The first essay is due week five. So you have your major research paper, 35% of your grade. You have your participation, reflection paper, class participation. That's 15% that's of your grade. And then your two take-home exams are 25% each. So what will happen on those take-home exams, those two essays? This is what you're looking at, okay? They're, they're essay assignments. I'm calling them take-home exams, but they're, it's an essay. And on the essay, what you will do is you're going to use the reader, Democracy's Prisoner, and then uh, the Republic of Rock, and you're going to use the reader as sort of the backbone for, a, for an essay that then engages the book, it engages the specific topic, it engages uh, material that we've covered in class discussions and or lectures, and also readings and modules. And the essay will then engage um, core issues relating to American society, whether it is a cultural, social, um, an element of, of civic activism, uh, of civil rights, of human rights, um, whatever it might be, changes in terms of governance and political affairs. Uh, and there is a, 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 an array of ways that you might want to approach this, these essays. But you use the main reader as the backbone of an essay that then will discuss that period that we've covered in class and tie in these, these themes to explain how um, the conflict or conflicts um, shaped American society during the period that we're covering um, in this um, exam section. So we'll talk more about that as we uh, move forward in the class. And um, with that, I think um, we'll go ahead and I'll, I'll call this uh, announcement done. Uh, it's a long one, and um, but I can't be here for the first day of class, so I really wanted to introduce myself. I'm looking forward to, um, you know, to, to working with all of you in the class. I think we'll have a lot of fun in this class, and uh, it's a, a profoundly important subject for Americans to consider in the 21st century. And so I will see you soon, face to face. Please do um, read the first assignment. Be prepared. Our first graded discussion will be on a discussion of American core values and ideology. So be prepared when we come to class uh, to discuss that. Let's have a great term. I'm really looking forward to it. I hope you are as well. Thanks.